Okay, next up, we are asked for the remainder when um, 3x to the power of 4 plus 2x cubed minus x squared is divided, sorry, plus 2x minus 24 is divided by x plus 2. There's two ways to do this. You can um, do the actual division all the way out, or you can use remainder theorem. We're going to use both ways. Okay, so, so we have x plus 2, and we are dividing 3x to the power of 4 plus 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 24. And just as a quick reminder on how to divide these out, let's say we had x plus 1 is dividing out x squared plus 2x plus 1. You take the x and you do x squared, so your first value here, divided by that x, and that's going to give me x. And so what I'm going to put up here is x, and then I'm going to multiply that x by everything here, so it'll become x squared plus x. And then I'll subtract the 2, and this will give me x. And then I drop this plus 1. And then again, I'm going to do um, this value, so x over my x. And this will give me 1. So I'm going to add 1, and then I'm going to multiply 1 by this, so x plus 1, and subtract the 2, and it'll give me 0. And so I will get that x squared plus 2x plus 1 over x plus 1 is x plus 1. And naturally, I can just bring over this x plus 1 to tell me that x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to x plus 1 into x plus 1. And so now let's do that for our question. Okay, so um, 3x to the power of 4 over x will give me 3x cubed. Multiply 3x cubed by everything here. This will give me 3x to the power of 4 plus 6x cubed. Subtract the 2. This will leave me with negative 4x cubed. Drop this minus x squared. Divide negative 4x cubed by x. This will leave me with minus 4x squared. Multiply negative 4x squared by this, and this will give me negative 4x cubed minus 8x squared. Subtract these two. These two will cancel. Negative x squared plus 8x squared will give me 7x squared. Drop this, so plus 2x. And then again, 7x squared divided by x will give me plus 7x. 7x by everything here will give me 7x squared plus 14x. Subtract the 2. This will give me negative 12x. Drop this negative 24. Negative 12x divided by x is negative 12. Multiply negative 12 by x plus 2, which will give me negative 12x minus 24 giving me a remainder of 0. What you get here is your remainder, so my remainder is 0. And so, I could write very, very easily here that 3x to the power of 4 plus 2x cubed all over x plus 2 is equal to my answer up here. So 3x cubed cubed minus 4x squared plus 7x minus 12 with no remainder. And so from this, I can just decide to multiply this. So it can become 3x to the power of 4 plus 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 24 is equal to x plus 2 multiplied by what I have here. Okay, and so what this tells me is that x plus 2 is going to be a perfect factor of this. Now, from this is where we develop the remainder theorem. And the, the remainder theorem tells us that um, p of x divided by x minus a will be equal to 0 if p of a is equal to 0. Okay, and so... Um, Let's put in what our value is into our function. So I can test what the remainder would be by putting in our a value into our function and checking what it's going to be. 
P of A is what will give you your remainder. And so x plus 2 is x minus a with a is equal to negative 2. So let's put in negative 2 into our function. We get 3, negative 2 to the power of 4, plus 2, negative 2 cubed, minus negative 2 squared, plus 2 into negative 2, minus 24. This will give me forty eight. Minus sixteen, minus four, minus four, minus twenty four. And this will give me forty eight minus forty eight, which will give me zero proving that the remainder, as I found earlier, is zero. And so if you just ask for the remainder, do it this way. If you're asked for the full division, do it this way. And that's it for this question.